So here's the empty shell of our program. We'll need a scanner to read the user input. But right now, the code won't compile. It doesn't know what a scanner is. We need to import java.util.scanner to tell the program where to find the code for the scanner. That's better. Now we want to print the prompt. And I remember my colon and space at the end so that there will be space for the user input. And now I read in the word. I'm going to use next line. I'll explain that in another minute. I'll make my book so I can use it to do the calculations. And now I can calculate the number of occurrences and print the result in a nice format. Let's see if I made any syntax errors with all that typing. Sure enough, misspelled occurrences. Thank goodness for the compiler. You saw this run before, so I won't run it again. There is that one question left over, though. The next versus next line. Let's look at the documentation. If I search for scanner and Java 7, and go to the official documentation, and then search for the methods. Here they are. There are a lot of them. But here are the ones that start to be next float and next, next big decimal. All right, the ones that return strings are next, next with a pattern, next with another pattern, next line. All right, and these look like something else. Next line has slightly awkward language. Advances this scanner past the current line and returns the input that was skipped. But what this means for us is that the scanner will give us a line of input, so everything the user types before they hit enter will get loaded in with next. If I find the documentation for next without the line, here's next, it says finds and returns the next complete token from this scanner. What's well, a complete token? Maybe there's more information. It says a complete token is preceded and followed by input that matches the delimiter pattern, and then talks about blocking while waiting for input to scan. You don't need to worry about that part too much. Basically, it's just saying that it'll wait until the user actually enters something. But this delimiter thing, maybe somewhere on this page it says what the delimiter is. Let's look for it using Control F, delimiter. This looks like it's in the summary near the top of the page. A scanner breaks its input into tokens using a delimiter pattern, which by default matches white space. We saw white space before. That was things like spaces and tabs that you can't see. I guess that makes sense. So it gives you a chunk that is separated from other things by something like spaces. So it seems like next would work fine by default if the user just wanted to search for one word, like Alice. But if they wanted to search for two words, like Mad Hatter, you would want to use next line.